Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Hello, beautiful people! My name is Nistaku, and welcome back to Wolf Among Us! We're on episode 5, we did it! We're on the last episode, and it looks like it's gonna be so good! I'm so excited. Please, I don't need a previously. Please, please, I don't... I mean, your eyes it, and the teeth? Where are we? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Oh. Yeah, I spared you. So you better be happy. Not if I can avoid it. Oh, there's the pawn shop. Gosh, everything is so close by together when you really think about it. No. Oh, it's so cinematic. Holly's sister. Lily. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he if he cares about it, if he even gives a shit. He does. He cares. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. Nope, we did it. No. Oh wow, that was a delay. No. <laughs> We're not burning the tree, Snow. <laughs> Feels so like laggy. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Let's step it on my blood. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but. You're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Yeah, if I'm not sending Colin, I'm not sending Toad. Oh. I feel like it's so out of order, is it not? I also feel like it's massively loud for me. Oh god, Big B! <laughs> it just feels so delayed. This the silent no pauses. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Ooh, I like the morgue. Yes, please. Big B, wait. When you get the crooked man. Make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Yes, I agree to that. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh my gosh, we need an intro again. Well, it's the final intro. It's the final intro. Let's just enjoy it. I am so excited. It just means that we're one step closer to playing Wolf Among Us 2. I know this game is old, and I know it's not gonna reach the right audience when it comes to like people who want more new games and all that. But I don't know. I've just been on like a nostalgic run, and I just appreciate all of you guys that have been watching through all the games that I've been playing that are quite old. Um, and I'm saying old as if like 20, what, 13 through 2017 is old. Well, it's getting there. Ooh, it's nearly, it's a decade for one of them at least. Oh, I feel old. Episode five, Cry Wolf. You've come a long way. That's his story, the Crooked Man story. You must be tired. I'm not tired. Oh, oh, shaky, shaky screen. And if my envoys are correct, you have had a lot of <laughs> okay. recently. What a welcome! Jeez! Alright, Jersey, I see you. Please, Sheriff. Relax for a moment, will you? You pulled a gun on me and you're telling me to relax? What? <laughs> Do you want a drink? Something to eat? No. Vivian makes a very nice, very... Mm. It's elegant. Mm. Really, a carpaccio. Drink, okay, for a reason. It's lobster. Sirloin. I mean, that sounds so nice. Uh -huh. Well... I'm here Take for one reason. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm here for one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking okay, food. Okay, you're being rude. Really? Oh, yeah. you do not like that. That's rude. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. Thanks, Jersey. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Oh, they all got silver bullets now, though. Ooh. Well, Sheriff. For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help you know why? He did not kill those women. I don't think so. You tried to kill me. You're destroying the sun. You tried to kill me. You forget what happened at the pudding and pie. You and your goons tried to kill me. Yeah. I'm truly sorry for that whole debacle. It was not my intention to put you or Miss White in any sort of danger. Mm -hmm. My wish was merely to take Crane, Sheriff. But as soon as the assignment grew out of control, I put a stop to it. I know that that doesn't change what Crane wasn't to yours you. takes. No, stopped it. No not you. Sincerest apologies. Crane wasn't Crane yours wasn't He yours did stop it. Take. I apologize if I Even though Crane said 
won't happen again. Or even though Snow traded in, he you was there. I hope you believe Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. But why? Why did they did it? You and to assure you that it's I think I know who did it. You it's really not him. I still think it's the pimp. Further. He's the one that has to lay the heavy hand. Know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen, but... Who do you think committed these crimes? He has. He's the only one that... It's not the it's Tweedles. The Tweedles are freaking here. babies. It's not Bloody Mary, even I though she probably wanted to. I think it was Georgie, because it was his it girls. Was Georgie, all right. Well done, Sheriff. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, However, like I said, I'll be handling the matter if you don't oh, mind. Oh, Vivian's worried back there. Yeah, I killed him, so what? But why? 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 You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? It does! <laughs> the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, oh. let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Uh -oh. Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this. <laughs> and then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. Wow. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this. I don't trust him at all. He killed his own uh, wife and kids, so didn't he? So what do you say, Sheriff? Cooking man? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. No. Ensuring our continued cooperation. No deals. <clears throat> no deals. It's over, so get up. I'm not making deals with you. I'd against that approach, Bigby. You can't just hand me over. What the fuck is this shit? Uh -oh. You said you'd cover for us. Uh -oh. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. Huh. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'll give a fuck if I'm the one... Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here! I do apologize, oh Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. What, do you, you transform? You can go turn that hole at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere! Oh, I'll great. roll over on the lot of you before uh, I let that shit happen. I'm not grabbing the what cookie man. Saying? That's not gonna do yeah, anything. I'm fuck? not leaving. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. This could have gone so well. Oh no. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Oh, oh that's so cool. That's so cool and creepy. Wow. Gosh, you're so cool, but you're so evil. I don't like you. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Oh boy, this fight's about well, to go down. Look at you all fixed up. Ooh. Ooh, that's so cheap. Ooh, wolf time. <laughs> okay, you. Uh, okay. Oh, why is there like no music? It's such a silent fight. Take this. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. No. Whoa. You're done. Oh, cause it's a portal. We're pretty much done here. Oh, he's escorting him out. That sucks. Uh, no. I'd like no, to no, no. It was nice knowing you. No, 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 no. Glad to see your insides turned out. No. Oh. Oh, you killed the brother. That's on you, not me. You have three murders now. Oh god. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Your turn. It's your turn to die. This way. Ah, okay, this way. Are we gonna kill him? Oh, are we gonna kill him? Time to die. Oh no, we stunned him. Is he dead? No, he's not. He just moved. Well, that's good. Oh, time to chase down. Ooh. Why'd you pull out the knife, you dummy? Whoa. No, 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 no. I don't want to chase them. I really don't. I... 
They got what they needed. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's big wolf time. Oh, it's big wolf time. Uh oh, that's not her. No, we need to find the cooking man. Uh, okay, I guess we're I guess we're chasing them down. What is that gonna do? Well, I guess Boy Georgie actually killed the women, but I still feel like the crooked man's behind all this, and it's so loud for me. Uh, what are we doing? We're going up. <laughs> so cool! A jumpy. Stick the landing. Good job, Big B. I'm so proud of you. Uh, you're asking me to decide? Oh no. Oh, in the building! <laughs> the screaming! <laughs> oh, we're timed, man! Alright, that's one. Okay. Yippee! Where is the cooking man, though? Okay, Eppies! What's. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my gosh! Big B! You ever think about doing the Olympics? Is that the long- is the long car his? Long car. Yes! Uh, I remember! Oh. Oh, come on! Oh, don't hit me. Don't hit me! What? Was that not the right answer? No, was that wrong? How did a single stop? Baby, you have to prepare for these things. You know a car can do a full stop. Nice, we're shirtless too. Oh. Oh. I don't even know. Did I make the wrong choice? I feel like I did. I feel like... I, I didn't know that we were just going purely after Georgie. It felt like you were mainly prioritizing the crooked man. Holy shit. Dang. He bled out a lot. Mm. Hmm. Fuck. No. 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 What am I gonna do now, eh, Vivian? What the fuck do you expect? I don't know. I don't know. I I think no. I think I want to go back. This is the first time I'm ever going back. I feel like that was the wrong call. We were supposed to chase after Georgie and Vivian, and I feel like we're gonna miss out on a whole lot if we don't do that. Especially since the stupidest thing of Big B just falling out and getting hit by a car, and that I I think I think we need to go back. I think we need to go back. Is there a way I can like change chapters, please? Uh. If I do a new save, new save, play, no, I want to do, oh my gosh, <laughs> no, I have to do it all, oh, that sucks, I don't know, I, I'm gonna do it, I want to do it because I don't really want to mess up, I feel like we're at the point where we need to know all I mean, the information, so I guess I'll be back, okay, well, I tried changing it, and basically, what am I gonna do now? Uh, that baby? makes me so upset. Basically, when I what changed it, it burned the witch's tree, which I feel like is a very important part of the story, too. And I really don't want to lose out on that as well. So I guess we'll just. Uh, oh. Ah, dang it, man. Vivian! You're too late, Bigby. I know. I'm sorry. She's dead. <sighs> what happened? What the fuck happened, Georgie? What's it look like? I'm really not in the mood, Bigby. <coughs> so why don't you just fuck off? Stop oh! talking, Georgie! <laughs> Gosh! His guts are pouring oh, out! I think that'll help! I told you I don't want to fucking talk, uh, especially not with a piece of shit like tell you. Tell me why. You I just want to know the tell answer me why you at this did point. This. I didn't do shit to her. She killed herself. Mm. 
she did it. Just pulled her ribbon off right there. Ugh. Didn't fucking matter what I said. She always did what she wanted. She just... Right in front of me. Why? Why the hell would she do that? <clears throat> she said she'd had enough. She couldn't live with what she'd done. She's the original Big Bit. The girl with the ribbon. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. We used hers to make the rest. It started as part of the gimmick, right? Discretion is our guarantee. You know, she came up with that. It was her idea. Whoever thought it would end this way. <sighs> What are you talking about? It was her I don't want to be mean or mean? anything. Why would she want to be involved in this? It all starts the same way for all of us. We come here to escape, but all we find is even more shit. What were we supposed to do? We did it away to make a living. Figured this was as good as any, but then everything went to shit. This was just the final fucking straw. Mm. She felt responsible for Faith and Lily. <coughs> What her ribbons did to them. Yeah, because they died. Said from she'd the rather ribbons. die on her own terms. For something good. Or at least something close to it. So she ended it. Oh, it didn't matter if that left me to deal with this fucking mess. We promised we'd look out for each other. So what the fuck is this? You won't get my Oh my gosh, here. all these are uh, awful. Uh, oh, not uh, he's uh, literally in immense pain. Uh, and I think he uh, liked her. Like Look, I know you think it's my fault. Uh, that I killed him for some twisted pleasure of mine. Up. But I... <coughs> I did what I had to. You don't always why? get a choice. Please tell Sometimes me why. Sometimes you just have to do what you're told. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? Just tell me why. <sighs> do they know something? Some of the girls decided to pull a runner on us. Oh. And the crooked man didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me... Oh, they were going to take run care away? Of you think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says, or I'm the one getting dealt with. I had to do it. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill those girls. And then he fucking sold me out. <laughs> yeah, I think the crooked man's it's None his fault. None of this would have happened if it wasn't for that bastard. It's his fucking fault. Uh, All of it. I, oh, fuck. I don't know. Get up. He Get up. Oh. Don't think so, Big B. <gasps> oh, 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 man. What about Swineheart? Can we call Swineheart? Here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. I didn't, I don't... Really fuck him up for me, all right? Oh, he'll get worse than you. Why do you... He'll get worse for than you. Us, he's gonna have uh, it worse. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> <coughs> Good. Old foundry by the river. All right, Shepherd Metalworks. Man. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. Oh. You want to finish me off now? Does he want that? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? Yeah. That's what you want to do. No, right? I don't. That's well, not who I am. Just, just Stop get it, it. Over with. That's not who I am. I didn't even Prove want this. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> Oh, oh, the noises. Just make it quick. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. I feel so bad. Ooh, we... All right, Georgie. Oh, I'm sorry, Georgie. I'm so sorry. Oh, gosh, Vivian's right there. Oh. Couldn't she have gone for his, like, neck? Oh, I'm sorry. I wish we can't. I wish I just chose the right car. I just thought the goal was the crooked man. Obviously, it wasn't. I was wrong. If we got here earlier, I do remember that like she'll be alive still and she'll talk to you. But they kind of tell us the same things either way. It's just you don't see the the act, which I guess is a good thing. I guess. Dang. Well, that's the end of the pudding and pie. What about Hans? Hans is out of a job now. I know the girls are probably happy, but Hans is out of a job. Oh, that's tough. Shepherd Metalworks. All right. Oh, there's the car. Does it have my blood on it from when you hit me? 
Oh, can we actually look at the car? Oh! What's in here? Oh. Still warm. Oh. He's here, alright. Oh, I see. What the hell? Don't mind if I do. Knocky, knocky! Oh, we're not knocking. Opening, opening! Oh. Of course. Oh, 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 oh! We're not busting it in with our shoulder like you normally do, Big B? We're actually trying to open the door? That is quite different of you. You've changed. You've changed. So tense, intense music. Whoa, where are we? Oh, there's the shipments. So this is where they've been sending. Oh, that's these. cool. That the shadow makes it um, inverted. That's very cool. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Light. Really appreciate it. Well, this looks very nice. Big B Wolf. Oh. Hello. The Big Bad Wolf. Oh, you're in my head. Get out of my head. Oh, what is this? You used to be something. Oh, look, it's his, is it that his wheel? I read something about this. Not read. I watched a video on this. So the, how it works with the Crooked Man is like, he's tied up on it. So his head's here, his arm is on uh, is on the where the chains are, and his legs are on the chains. And they spin it, and then they have a guy beat, like, just beat him with a stick as he's spinning and break all of his bones. That's how it works. And then they're left to die. That is messed up. You could see Lily in the photos. Look at that, that's Lily. Lily, uh, Nerissa, and Faith. Oh. And then, huh. Oh, they were arguing here. I don't, I don't know. I seem happy here. She's all jewelried up too. And then, they argue here. It's gotta be something with this. Why they're upset. Also, someone was watching us this entire time. That's very nice. Probably her. They used to fear you. It's weird, it's got blood on it too. How? Why? Oh, bleach. Oh, there's the hammer. I think that's how it works. At least it's how one of the torture methods work, where you just tie them up on the wheel. Just start wailing on them. That's so messed up. Uh oh, in here. Hello. Ooh, oh. Are these silver bullets? For me? You made these for me? Silver. Oh. The big bad wolf. You guys shouldn't have. How did you know I love silver? Oh. Alright, the sucker punch was not okay. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. <laughs> Don't ah, make me angry. I see you made it here in one Oh, hello. Piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Oh. Get out of my way. All right, now. all right. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Gosh, uh, I'm talking to you. Hey, I'm talking to you. Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Gosh, she's so crazy, oh, she but I love how she talks. Whatever breeze drifted through town. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. Yeah, she's not gonna let a punch you. Come on now. Is that the best you can do? Very, no, no, thank you. Oh, headbutt. Oh. <laughs> a little punchy punchy in the face. Oh. Ooh. What's gonna happen? That wheel is so creepy. Ooh. Oh, what? 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 I'm sorry. Why 
Alright, this turned into a horror game. I'm just a, I'm just a wolf. Oh no, this is not gonna end up well. Oh what a, what is that? No! <laughs> we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're all fine! What? What was that? Was that her? She's so fast! How did she get so fast? Please, Miss Bloody Mary. Now that I'm vulnerable. Not again. Not again. Oh, oh I dodged that one. I think. Alright. Alright. Hey. Where are you? <laughs> We're pissing him off. Come out and face me. Oh, what? Oh, you creeped me out. Hello. Oh, is this the real Bloody Mary? Ew, bro. What? Bro, how am I supposed to touch you? You're covered in glass shards. Don't shake at me. Arr. <laughs> the growl is so funny. Uh -oh. Duck. Duck, Big B. Uh-oh. See, that's awful. Her arms are covered in glass, dude. <laughs> no, thank you. Get off me. <gasps> we upgraded. Level up. Evolves into Big Bad Wolf. Gosh. Oh, we look so cool. And she looks... Good gosh, your teeth are nasty too. Oh. Oh. What? How, how can there be so many of you? Is it because of like reflections? Uh, Big B, you got a lot on your hands. Uh, the, for, the closest one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh oh. No, thank you. Uh, oh, 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 the clicky. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh. Okay, my dodges are not working, and I'm realizing that this hurts. This hurts. Uh, get off me! Get off me! I did not consent. Oh my gosh! Come on, baby, don't let these little glass people bother you. Oh, 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 Get off me! Get off me! You can't <laughs> I'm back to you! You just a big doggy! This is so good! Oh, are they like glass? Is that what it is? Oh, we want you in specific. Come here. C come here! How oh, is there more? How many more can you have? We have to find the real one. Alright, where's the queen bee in all of you guys? <gasps> Are we gonna hop and puff? Are we hopping and puffing? <laughs> yes! Blow them down! Oh, this is so cool. It's crazy how many forms Biggie has. Alright, where's the real one? You. <laughs> Just a big doggy, but we look small in this place. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, 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 okay. Was that necessary? Come at me. Get her! Oh. <laughs> that is so cool. Gosh, you sound like a lion, though. Like a lion tiger thingy. Naked now? Uh, Bigby? 
Ooh. His teeth are still sharp. Uh, when did you get naked? <laughs> How did you undress beforehand? Oh, did you see that crooked man? Did you see that? Did you see what I did? I did it good. Alright, but we're gonna leave it here. I know, I know, cliffhangers. This is such a good episode. Episode 5 is always the best episode. I love it so much. Let's go read the Book of Fables. Oh, that fight is so cool, man. I love how giant he gets. I know he's the big bad wolf in the Fables, but the fact that he's actually really, really big is so cool. Um, Alright, so let's do what? Book of Fables? And what are we missing? Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got... Four. That's new. That's different. We've never seen that before. Vivian's story. The girl with the ribbon. Vivian was the very first to bear the curse of the purple ribbon. Removing the ribbon would result in death, and any attempt to talk about it was thwarted by the spell upon it. As time went on, she tried to live a normal life. Eventually, she married a nice man, but he was constantly wondering about the ribbon around her neck. Despite her pleas for her, her pleas for him to leave it alone. One night while she was sleeping, he attempted to remove it. As she pulled, as he pulled on the edge of the string, Vivian woke and saw what her husband was doing. In a panic, she pulled away, preventing the ribbons not from being undone. Furious, she tried to express the severity of his actions, but her husband was unable to understand. She realized that she couldn't trust him and decided to leave. She lived alone for the rest of her days in the homelands, preferring the safety of isolation to the risk of another betrayal. Aww. He wouldn't understand. That sucks. How is that so hard to understand? Poor Vivian. I thought she was Cinderella. She's not. I don't know. I never heard of a story with a girl with a ribbon. Put it in pie, Vivian and Georgie's place. Vivian and Georgie met during the exodus of, from the homelands, and they helped each other survive the long journey to the mundane world. Upon their arrival, however, they found it hard to make a decent living. With what little money they had, they opened the pudding and pie, Operating a strip club may not have been the most desirable occupation, but they figured it was better to be in charge of a place like this than be forced through desperation to work at one. I, I guess, yeah. Ah, that's so pretty. Winter Wolf. Bigby's mother? Ah, she's beautiful. Bigby's mother, Winter, fell in love with the North Wind and bore him seven wolf cubs. North Wind? But he quickly grew tired of her and left Winter. Heartbroken and alone, she tried to care for her cubs despite her grief. She was especially fond of Bigby, but as the runt of the litter, he was often teased by his older brothers. After Winter's death, Bigby's siblings went in search of their father, but Bigby stayed behind to protect his mother's corpse from scavengers. Aww. Unfortunately, he was too small a defender. From then on, he vowed to eat something bigger each day until he was large enough to confront his father and finally make him pay for the pain he caused his family. Oh, Bigby! Wow, that is a... St I never knew that. That is a beautiful story, though. She's so pretty. And then I guess that's little Bigby, little runt. Gosh, he's a runt? He this is a runt? The big bad wolf, Bigby's true form. Bigby's true form is that of a giant eight-foot-tall wolf. That is not eight-foot-tall. In addition to his iconic huff and puff power, he has also inherited other abilities from his father, the North Wind. Oh, that's where he gets his huff and puff from the wind. For example, Bigby is able to hold his breath for an abnormally long amount of time, making it impossible for him to drown. Oh, so that's why whenever, um, in the story, the woodsman cut open his belly and filled it with stones, threw him in the river, Bigby was still alive and able to hold his breath for that long until he was able to get out. That That's a good uh, way to get around that. Man, this story. This story is like, I don't know. I'm very interested in this story. I wonder if there's actually a fable around that. Mary's loyalty. Gosh, she's so creepy looking. Part of the job. Bloody Mary began working for the crooked man many centuries ago. He promised her freedom to do as she pleased as long as she agreed to act as his personal bodyguard and a hitman. Because of the crooked man's power and influence, Mary never had to worry about getting caught by the authorities. She enjoys her job immensely and would defend the crooked man to death, mostly because she finds it fun. <laughs> yeah, she's a bit of a crazy one. She's a little, little kooky. She kind of likes it all. Ah, oh, but these stories. I wonder what made us, what we did to get this story. Maybe it was just these two, um, whenever Big B transformed. So a wolf and wind fell in love, huh? I don't know, I'm so infatuated by this. I love this.
That is very, very cool. All right. Well, I guess we'll leave it here. <laughs> we have three more we can get, and hopefully we get a good ending. I know there's, I think there's like a few endings we could get, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this, and just thank you for showing your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye!